MSNBC claim that they were progressive in the past. Now, that was a little too bold, so they never actually said it. They said they lean forward, whatever that means. Um, I do know they hired progressives because they hired me. <laughs> and when I uh, talked to the executives there, they did say they wanted to go in that direction because guess why? Because it got good ratings. And uh, Oberman had started that. He got wonderful ratings, ratings like they've never seen before when he went on the war path against George W. Bush and then followed by Rachel Maddow. Uh, but uh, the executives there never really believed. Uh, they were dragged there kicking and screaming and then later claimed credit for the ratings rise. Well, then they had a little bit of rating struggle because they don't really know how to be progressives. Oberman is not there, I'm not there, so many others, Martin Bashir, Dylan Radigan, gone, gone, gone. Anyone who was actually speaking out against the establishment, gone. So if you think like being a corporate stooge Democrat is the way to appeal to progressives, well, it turns out you were wrong. So their ratings were, were really down last year before this incredible election cycle, right? Where everybody's ratings went up. So they decided, oh, I got an idea, let's go back to right wing. And they hired all these right wingers as commentators and contributors, and they bragged about it. They took out these big newspaper ads saying some might people might think we're right wing now. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people think that. You got Morning Joe in the morning for approximately 18 hours. It's a Republican talking point machine. Well, the reason I bring you this story is now it turns out they've got another genius idea. Let's go even further right wing and, and begin to hire former Fox News hosts. I bet that maintains your audience. So Greta Van Susteren somewhat obliquely tweeted out very recently. Uh, she says, of course there are pros and cons when I left TV, because she used to be a Fox News but left. I was ready for a new adventure and traveled the world, uh, but I have received a tempting offer. Hmm. So how do we know it's MSNBC? Well, uh, Joe Scarborough was asked about it and he said, hey, I'm not sure the Greta deal has been confirmed. In other words, there's a Greta deal and it's almost done. I know about it, uh, but I'm not sure it's been confirmed publicly. But she would certainly fill the role of a legal host that the network hasn't had on a full-time show since Dan Abrams left. So, MSNBC, it looks like they're on the edge of hiring yet another uh, former Fox News host. Well, I can't thank you enough. Now, I think you're hurting the country, I think, on cable news, even though it serves incredibly old people. The average age of a MSNBC viewer is 63 years old. Um, <laughs> but still, the 63-year-olds vote, and, and a lot of them are all over Washington, and they think that's the only relevant thing. What are the 63-year-olds thinking today? Okay, where did our young audience go? Anyway, so they have some relevance left, so even though uh, it's helps me uh, and, and the TYT network here, I wish they wouldn't go in that direction. I don't have anything against any particular hosts. I think that if they stayed progressive uh, and actually knew how to run a progressive network, they would be in much, much better shape and their previous ratings prove that, but they don't know how to do it because they're not progressive. <laughs> they don't have a progressive bone in their management bodies. So they think this is a genius move to alienate their progressive audience even further. Because people who like watching Rachel Maddow and Chris Hayes, they're going to love former Fox News hosts. All right. Well, but from a business perspective, uh, TYT Network uh, thanks you. And, uh, and as your audience continues to dwindle next year, we will send our regards. Fix the media. Be the media. Come join us. TYTnetwork.com slash join.